Welcome back, everyone, to another Daikon dissectional production hosted by Deathstroke9. Now, we're getting to one that was requested quite a few times, but we're, we're finally getting to it. This is Black Sabbath, Heaven and Hell. Now, one second, did I just spell? No, I didn't. Okay, good. Um, first of all, I want to say I don't know. I don't know what I'm going into here because is this Black Sabbath after Ozzy left? Let me look it up. Um, does because Heaven and Hell have Ozzy? It's the ninth studio album released by the band Black Sabbath. It is the first one to feature vocalist Ronnie James Dio. Okay, so it's the beginning of the Dio era of Black Sabbath. Now, um, because of that, I'm a little, I'm a little like, eh, okay. Ozzy Osbourne to me. Ozzy, Tony Iommi, Keezer Butler, who was on the drums. What's his name? I don't remember his name. We'll, 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 we'll look it up. As, as always, uh, welcome to the channel if you're new here. Hello, my name is Daniel, aka Deathstroke9, and here we react to music. I try to figure out what the music and the lyrics mean to me personally. Plus, I also just, you know, try to um, enjoy some good music. Now, I am already a fan of Black Sabbath, which is why I've done the Hand of Doom. You know, I've tried to do ones that I'd, you know, never heard of before. Pretty soon we're going to do live War Pigs, because War Pigs is like one of my favorite uh, Black Sabbath songs. And I've never seen a live version of it, and I think, I think that'd be pretty cool to do. Um, but yeah, Dio era Black Sabbath, never, I don't think... I might have heard one song by them on the radio, and it didn't... I don't know. It was weird not having Ozzy there. But we're going to give it a chance. All right. Uh, enough jibber-jabber. We're going to get right into this. Uh, link to the original vir video. Link to the original video is going to be down in the description. And, yeah. Thank you for joining me. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Three, two, one. This is an interesting album cover. It's a bunch of angels, but they're smoking cigarettes and gambling. Typical Black Sabbath stuff. Three, two, one, let's go. Got the lyrics pulled up over here. Bass is awesome. Sing me a song, you're a singer. Okay. Do me a wrong, you're a bringer of evil. The devil is never a maker. The less that you give, you're a taker. So it's all in He does have a good voice, I'll give him that. That guitar is just awesome, driving force. That's, that's some cool background. Oh, the lyrics are here. Wow. Oops. Full screen that for you. Alright, I'm going to pause it here before it starts getting crazy like I know it probably will um so yeah Black Sabbath is just freaking awesome um hmm 
Mm -hmm. Let me think. Yeah, these lyrics are definitely interesting. It's kind of just talking about the duality of life a little bit. Heaven and hell. No better name to kind of describe that. Um, so over here we've got... Sing me a song, you're a singer. Do me a wrong, you're a bringer of evil. The devil is never a maker. The less that you give, you're a taker. So he's telling us, things are often what they seem to be. It's very black and white, heaven and hell. Which, not entirely sure if that's true. I feel like a lot of times in life it's a lot more gray than that, but that's just me. Um, so sing me a song, you're a singer. Straightforward. Do me a wrong, you're a bringer of evil. The devil is never a maker. That's true. So the devil supposedly, you know, he, he takes the... Cr greater is the creator than the created, right? And the devil just tries to take what has already been created and uh, pervert it or uh, defile it as a way to get back at the creator or the original, yeah, whatever. Um, the less that you give, you're a taker. So if you're not... If you're the opposite of generous, you're greedy. And so it's on and on and on and on and on. It's heaven and hell. So the song kind of sounds like it's saying heaven and hell. It's kind of on earth. Or the duality, the ups and the downs. I've said that many times before on the channel that I think balance is very important. And leading a balanced life is important because it's the most full life. If you, If when I think about it, a life that has both joy and pain, heaven and hell, ups and downs, would be the most satisfying and full life. Because the because you need the down to appreciate the up, right? And eventually you even appreciate the down because of the appreciation it gives you for the up. You need the ups to appreciate the downs too, really. Yin and yang, so to speak. Okay, let's go back over here. Let's keep going. Good song so far. It's like a marching song. Going down the roads of life. Oh, here's the gray. Wow. He's preaching, huh? Okay, turn that up. Bass on this track is incredible. Obviously, the guitar is as well. Oh. I want whatever effect he has on that guitar makes it echo out like that. It's not just a delay pedal, because it's, it's quieter. Musically, this song is incredible.
Wow. There's all the gray. It's fading into each other. And yeah, wow. That's very interesting. Are we done? Let me pause it just for a second. It's interesting that that transition right there as it slowly is fading out. It's like we've come to the conclusion that it's a melancholy. <laughs> so pretty. There's another one we need to do soon, Dream Theater. All right. That was a cool song. All right. Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's talk about this. Um, let's keep going. Where were we? Where were we last? All right, so it's on and on. It's heaven and hell. Oh well, music was awesome on the song, by the way. the The lover of life's not a sinner. All right, so he's like someone who lives life to its fullest extent is not a sinner. The ending is just a beginner. Okay, the closer you get to the meaning, the sooner you'll know that you're dreaming. So it's something along the lines of when you die, there's another, there's another place. That's what he's saying. The spirit, the consciousness. The thought doesn't just vanish from existence. It goes somewhere else. Um, at least that's what the song is trying to say. The energy doesn't just dissipate. It goes on and on and on, heaven and hell. I can tell, fool, fool. If it seems to be real, it's too good to be true. It's illusion. For every moment of truth, there is conf every moment of truth, there's confusion in life. Love can be seen as the answer, but nobody bleeds for the dancer. And it's on and on and on. They say life's a carousel, spinning fast. You've got to ride it well. This world is full of people in power who blind your eyes and try to steal your dreams. It's heaven and hell. They'll tell you black is really white, that the moon is just the sun at night. And when you walk in golden halls, you've got to keep the gold that falls. Striper, the Christian metal band, made a cover of the song and explained, if you read the words to heaven and hell, those are lyrics that Striper could have or would have written, okay? There's nothing wrong with those lyrics. They're absolutely dead on the money. Oh, did they cover a Black Sabbath song and people were like, no, you, you're a Christian group. You can't do that. And yes, they are dead on the money. Great song. Let's, um, um, songfacts.com. Let's see what you've got to say. This is off the album Heaven and Hell. During an interview for VH1's Heavy, the story of metal, Black Sabbath vocalist Ronnie James Dio stated that this song is about each human being's ability to choose between doing good and doing evil. Essentially that each person has heaven and hell inside themselves. Dio said it was one of his favorites. 
Sure. This song was parodied by Tenacious D in Dio's music video for Push. In the video, Jack Black and Kyle Gass are playing the song on a sidewalk with modified lyrics about marijuana when Dio approaches and offers them money to play one of their songs. <laughs> the Christian metal band Striper surprised some of their fans by recording a version of this song for the 2011 covers album, The Covering. However, frontman uh, Michael Sweet told Rock Confidential they should give the lyrics a listen before condemning the music. He said... These were some songs we were thinking about, and we decided there were some songs that we were thinking about that we decided we probably shouldn't. There were some Aussie songs, some Maiden songs, some Priest songs, and we tried to, our best to be appropriate with the lyrical choices. Some may argue, how can they justify doing a Sabbath song? People are nuts. If you read the words to Heaven and Hell, those are lyrics that Striper would have written. There's nothing wrong with those lyrics. They're absolutely dead on the money. LMAO at Michael Sweet thinking he could have written the lyrics to Heaven and Hell. Eh. The only thing worse than one thing worse than Christian metal, and that's country, and not by far. Very untrue, but okay. Uh, Dio's good, but he was never an Aussie for meshing with Sabbath. I am fortunate enough to own all Aussie's Black Al Sabbath albums on vinyl. I've got Heaven and Hell too, and Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, but nothing beats Aussies. Was Sabbath Bloody Sabbath not an Aussie Osborne? Album? Interesting. Yeah, when it comes to Black Sabbath, prefer Ozzy. I do too, but this song was really good. All right. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. That's about all I've got to say. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Let me know what other songs by Black Sabbath I should do from either the Dio era or the Black Sabbath era, or the, not Black Sabbath, or the Ozzy era. And aside from that, you know, anything else you'd like me to react to. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate all of you guys. Deathstroke 9, out. Yeah, over middle here. I've got my uh, black jacket with a salmon shirt. It's kind of red, almost. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching.